Johnny Harris is the man behind one of the most popular documentary channels. He generates millions of views every day and no wonder why. His videos consist of stock footage, camera footage recorded in different angles that are used when and if needed, and a secret element which is called motion graphics. If you stick to the end of the video, you'll see how you can recreate this specific animation. Now before we start, you'll need Adobe Photoshop where you can prepare the scene for the animation and Adobe After Effects where you'll animate that scene. Inside Adobe Photoshop, I'm going to prepare the scene for our animation. First, I'll try and find all the elements that Johnny used in this animation. Because I couldn't find the same image for the background, I'll use this check image with the stamps. Below the image, I'll place a fill color that is similar to the one on the check by using the eyedropper tool. And above these layers, I'll place a paper texture that I got from Envato Elements. In the blending mode, I'll select a darker color option. Then I'm going to import the photo of a person and remove the access parts by using the built-in subject feature in Photoshop. Above this layer, I'll create a clipper mask where I'll create a blue rectangle. Now by going to the blending options, we can adjust the blending mode of the rectangle. This will create a very similar style to the one in the video. I'll select a color dodge. Here you can play with the amount of opacity, but I'll leave it at 100%. Now you can select these two layers and turn them into one smart object. Then again go to blending options, select the stroke checkbox and increase the size of the stroke. Also make sure that the stroke is outside of our image. I'll change the color to grey. Now before we add a texture. We need to turn this layer once again into a smart object. This will allow us to apply the texture to the stroke and the image. I will leave the blend mode to normal and set the opacity to 31%. Finally, I'm going to download these two fonts from Envato, which are the closest to the look in the video. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. Now, after we create the text, we can save the Photoshop file and import it in After Effects. Inside Adobe After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. Set the FPS to 24 as an industry standard. Adjust the duration and resolution if needed, and then click OK. On the left side, we have a project panel. Here, I'm going to drag the Photoshop file. When you do that, make sure that the import kind is set to composition and the editable layer styles option is selected. After we do that, we can drag the composition to the timeline and then double click on it to access the layers. From here, we can add adjustments to each layer that we previously made in Photoshop. Then you can go to the toolbar and select a pen tool. By creating multiple anchor points using a pen tool, and by connecting them, you can make a shape. I'll change the fill color and then increase the stroke size to 8 pixels. Now, in order to create a highlight effect, we need to create a mask animation. So, first create a mask and for the mask path, create in and out keyframes. For the in keyframe, go to shape and make sure that the right side of the mask is on the left side. When we are finished with this part, we can select keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to turn them into easy ease keyframes. As a final part of this animation, we need to create this zoom in effect. So I'll go back to the main composition and in the transformation section under the composition, I'm going to adjust the anchor point first, which will allow us to make a better zoom in effect. I'm going to place it on the text. Then I'll create three keyframes for scale, where the first is at the start, the second is at the first second, and the last is at the end. The second keyframe will have around 120% and the end at 140%. Then select all and press F9. Now open the graph editor and make sure that the scale is selected. As you start, your graph will look like this. Now you can select a middle keyframe on the graph 
which will allow us to change the angle of the curve. I'll select a left hand and by holding shift on the keyboard, I'll bring it as close as possible to the keyframe. Then select a start keyframe and again by holding shift on the keyboard slightly, bring the hand further away from the keyframe. To finish this off, I'll again select a middle keyframe, grab the right hand and bring it as close as possible to the keyframe. Finally, to make this animation even more similar to the one in the video, we're going to adjust the frames per second. Now, because this animation is the only one we're working on right now, you can go to composition settings and change the FPS to 14. However, if you would work with multiple animations in the file, you would have to use posturize time expression for this composition. If you want to learn how to edit like other YouTubers, make sure you check out this playlist. Until the next time, bye.